I would get asked all the time, hey, I don't have a fence around my backyard, but can I put this system around my house too if I don't have a fence? The answer is yes, and this freestanding system is, is really the answer for that type of situation. Uh, we, we sell these yellow fiberglass uh, ground rods and they are sold separately. They do not come with the regular kit. Uh, we, we pick the yellow in color because this netting is so hard to see, even if you're installing it and you're sitting right in front of it, it's tough to see it. So especially when you step back two, three, four feet away from it, it just turns invisible at that point. That's why we felt like it was important to have a yellow, brightly colored stake, just so folks can see where the outline of the barrier is, and in that way nobody's going to trip over it if they're ever walking up to that uh, perimeter. The, the most important thing to keep in mind is how far is the distance that you're trying to cover. We recommend putting one of these freestanding rods every 10 feet. So if you have a hundred linear foot of fence or an area that, that you're wanting to put a barrier up, then we would need one every 10 feet. So that would call for 10 ground rods to, uh, to accommodate that freestanding unit. So if this is the area that we're wanting to protect here, the orientation of the netting stays the same. You always want the closest grid to the area you're protecting, the large grid to the outside of the fence. Remember, we always want the snakes to hit the large grid first. Now, depending on your layout of wherever you're putting it, you may want to put a stake every five feet or so to give it a more rigid structure. Uh, you may have a setup that you want to do one every 12 feet or so. And that's subjective, you know, there, there's not a perfect science behind that number. That's just the averages that I've always used since I've been installing these the last couple of years. So I get asked a lot, what if there's a snake hanging out of it? Or what if, you know, a section gets torn up with the snake in it? No big deal. You just simply cut the section on about a foot. I normally use a foot on each side of the snake. Take that out, remove it, just slice it, pull it out, and then use some excess netting that's left over uh, on your roll to use as more or less a band-aid piece where you would just patch over the area that you've cut out and use your zip ties to attach it to the net that's already there. Use your landscape staples to put pin it tightly back to the ground and uh, it's good as new.